hello and welcome to season six of the Southern Nation League. In our second matchup of the day, we have the Reaper sponsored by Francisco's Restaurante and Pizzeria and the Ghost Rider sponsored by One Hop to Shop. I'm your play-by-play -play analyst, Joshua Gonzalez, and with me, Mike Stalko. Mike, how you doing? I'm doing very good, Josh. It is good to be here on this beautiful <laughs> day. Hell of a game to start the day. Oh, yeah. I was telling Bray uh, Bray Steve and Kid that it was fun to be back. It was boring not doing anything those couple Sundays. I'm sure. Like, I'm sure. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay, yeah, I'll take care of I'm editing and commentating. This is what happens when you're on the league. <laughs> busy, busy man. I was telling Ash, you'd be good, uh, you'd be good at a, uh, as a, like a sports producer or something on like a show. One you're day. You're running around everywhere. <laughs> one day we'll get there or we'll just make the league big enough. That's it, yeah. That's always the goal here. All right, here we go. That's what I'm not liking. I'm not liking that. But now we're good, and now we're good on this angle. I got that last Dom. Some nice little finish from Dom right there. Missed a lot of last season due to a knee injury. It looks like he has a clean bill of health as of today. Chili scrambles for the ball. I guess I should not have been commentating because I have too much other th things to do, <laughs> but you know what? We live and we learn. Show must go on. We are here. So who scored the first bucket? It was actually uh, Dom. Dom. Yeah. I said uh, how he how he missed last season, or most of last season, due to a knee injury. Now he's back with a, a little bit healthier. <laughs> we'll see. He lost a couple LBs. He says that he's feeling good. He thinks he's the best player in the league. Uh, don't know how accurate that is, but, you know, <laughs> he is a good player. So I'm excited to see what he does alongside Braylon. This is one of the best duos that we've had in the history of the league. If you really look top to bottom, former MVP, former MVP, Chile, two-time first overall pick. So that's a loaded top three. The question marks are the rest of the roster. Uh, and that's really, those role players are going to have to step up and play a big role this season if they want to be successful. 100%. Just look at Kyson's hair. I mean, the hair is really with He kind of looks like he's Wendy from Wendy's. <laughs> Dom against 1v1 God. Former Rookie of the Year 1v1 God. Dom up to Bray. Spray them pickings. Juan wearing the shiesty. Not necessarily a smart move, but that's what happens when Ghost buys you some cool stuff. <laughs> Bray putting his awesome. head down. I don't know how you breathe through that thing. Yeah, it's a horrible idea. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely horrible He's idea. probably going to take it off by halftime. I, I guarantee it. I would never wear it. I don't know why he's wearing <laughs> it, but it is what it is. Shout out Juan. I've also seen think? Don's stories. He's been working with the team, trying to get his team better. Yeah, you know, Reapers had a practice a week or two ago. That was a travel or something. Okay. I, I, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, they were practicing a few weeks ago. We played against them. We had five. They had six. Um, they they had a good showing, but they didn't have Axel out there. They didn't have Chili out there. Right. Juan attacking baseline. Loves that move, and he gets the foul. Smart move by him. Like I said, that's great. It looks like he's already breathing heavy through. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to know. You are never going to know. He looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm a big fan of Sean's shoes. Those Interesting. Faces. Yeah, Very, awesome. I guess uh, because it is Pride Month still, he can wear those. <laughs> Shout out Ghost. Uh, <laughs> the smiley faces all around. They're very cool. I wish that they were orange. Oh, yeah. That's but I guess color. Sauce has pink shoes on, too. Everybody representing Pride Month, June 30th. I'm sure in July we'll have some new shoes out there. Sweet Great finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Shout out, Ash. Go buy yourself some cookies, some brownies, some blondies. Oh, Ooh. Ghost. Woo! He said, look at my shoes. <laughs> Big hit from Ghost. Love to see that. Fine what do you think of the new jerseys? I like them. A lot of people don't like the, the white and orange. I, I'm a big fan of them. They're polarizing, you know? Yeah. I know Ash absolutely hates them. I'm not a big fan of the chains, but I think the, the color scheme, I like it. I feel like it's similar to the magicians of last season where people either really like them or they really despise right, them. exactly. You know, I, I just realized you have John Kerry coming off the bench here. That's very interesting. Oh, you do? I didn't see him. That's a strong bench having John Kerry and Mike Mitchell coming <laughs> off your bench. That's a really strong bench. Two clutch players. Yeah, and they're only down by one with with the seemingly best Reaper roster out there. 
first game was very close. Let's see if the second game will be the same. Braylon can't hit from three. I think it's going to be much lower scoring because there's less offensive weapons on both teams. I think Ghost Riders have a bit more options, but the consistent shooting definitely favors the Gorillas and the Mambas. Right. Oh, that's a tough take. Bray with the hustle. That's a really, really and, late call. And then to piggyback on, on what you were saying, on top of that, really good defenders on both sides of the ball, so it's going to be hard to score for them. 100%. Way, yeah. yeah, this is going to be a much more defensive matchup. Right. Not as exciting as the last matchup, uh, but we'll see who comes out on tops. What do you, what do you feel about like the new prospects, man? Like They, they were shooting lights out. Yeah, Alex played well. Shane yeah. played well. Kaz mm -hmm. played well. All three of them in their rookie seasons. Oh, yeah. um, I was saying this to Fadi, I, although there's only uh, about 12 players in this new rookie class, I think it's going to be one of the strongest rookie classes that we've had because they're all top picks, a lot of top picks. Oh, great. Oh, uh, Kyson. Kyson's not known for his passing. <laughs> oh, that's a good pass, though. And right on oh, cue. Right, right when you said it. <laughs> great pass. It could be assist of the day. Yeah. Brought, brought to you by Elevated Insurance. Yes. Shout out, Angel. You want your life insurance taken care of, you want to make some money, you go hit up Angel at Elevated Insurance right across from us. Look at that sexy face. <laughs> you refer somebody, you get $150. Ooh. So shout out him. Oh, yeah. Big time. He's going to bing bong it. You knew it's coming. Oh, Dom Johnson. It. Oh, it's because he didn't say bing bong. <laughs> the amount of times Yusuf said bing bong, even though he wasn't in the bing bong zone last time. Yeah, I was like, dude, isn't, isn't that your thing? I don't think he understood. Oh, yeah, you're right. That there's a, there's a tape. He has to get used to it now. I guess so. That's normally where he shoots from. Yeah. I don't know. And then when you give him the chance to shoot it there and reward him for it. He's going to shoot 10 feet over. Yeah. Yeah, he's not our smartest player. Isn't that right, Yusuf? <laughs> Yep. yep, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Got to love him. Braylon taking the ball up. <laughs> nice and slow. 10 to 5, go side. Oh, wow, another bing bong. Oh. Wow. I got to say. Oh, wow. Big hit and one. I got to say, no defense. Last game, they were all over the bing bong zone. They weren't letting anybody shoot that shot. Yeah. This time, both shots attempted yeah. have been congested. Almost inviting them there. have been like... uncongested. Yeah, for sure. Score is wrong. What's the score? Oh, what an alley oop! Assist of the day brought to you by TP Elevated no, Insurance. With the, with the yeah. Yeah, this, this Braylon and Dom duo is going to be insane. So we're saying 7 12. We're, we, we got the wrong score, I guess, on the other scoreboard. On the live score that you're seeing on the broadcast should be correct. Uh, according to Dre, which I trust Dre, he does a great job. Dom here with the rebound, up to Bray. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, oh, that's Good phenomenal. movement from Bray, oh wow. The way he flows through the sky is just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it's effortless. It's angelic. Yeah. yeah. It is angelic. He's just floating through the air, yeah. I, I think the score is all messed up. Dre, what's the score? <laughs> We have to get someone to convey that at halftime. 10, so it's 14 oh, wow. to 10. Right? Dom. So we need somebody to tell him. Finds Chili. We'll take care Chili of that. finds Chris. Chris back oh, to good Chili. Idea. Wow. Has oh, Kai. Kai. Kyson. Let's go, Kyson. Oh, oh, good shot, though. Gotta love to see that. Yeah. At least he gets the ball. Last season, I feel like people couldn't find him. On the Ghost Riders facing his don't former him, team. Don't let him know the score. Don't let TP know the score. What's the score? The, the correct score. 14, Juan Vicente gets hit in the eye despite wearing the shiesty mask. Oh, we got hit in the eye. Oh, yeah. The only part exposed on his face. He knows he just can't fix it. All right, well. Wearing the shiesty mask and he's complaining about an eye poke. I think that goes up for Bitch of the Day. Brought to you by Chris Galco. Yeah, shout out Bitch man, of the I'm Day. Man, I'm scared of saying this, bro. They're going to come after me, man. No, nah, he'll you. be fine. Juan, oh, you're yeah. Bitch of the Day. <laughs> I'll say it. I think, if you're wearing I think a shiesty mask, needs, you got to yeah. be in shiesty mode, man. Well, I think the issue is he needs goggles. If he had goggles with the shiesty mask, yeah. he would have everything covered. He'd be fine. Oh, Except yeah. for maybe like a little bit of his forehead. Oh, oh, he's pulling. Pulls a three. Oh, and hits it. Tells me to one. shut up. He uh -oh. said, bitch who? And he oh, came oh, up before halftime. Oh. Before halftime. The over-under. Oh. <laughs> Where's money? 
told Mitch. you. I told you, man. Wow, this score is all wrong. Oh! And another shot. Big three here. It should be 17-13 oh now. 17-13. Correct? <laughs> God. Sure. There we go. You got it, TP. Oh. We figured it out. 1v1, pulls a three, can't hit to answer wow. Braylon. One of the best offensive boarders in oh, the league. Wow. And big little hook shot. He was this, a really good uh, blue guy last season. 100%. Dude. Another former first rounder uh, when the league was not quite at its peak. He's had some really big games in the past. When he gets hot, oh, yeah. he it's gets very hot. Yeah, it's oh, a momentum man. switch. Oh, man. Oh, my, oh, my Dom. Dom. Yeah. Oh, man, Dom. <laughs> oh, man, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's good. The old man, Don. He's good, man. man. He's good. He can leave you speechless at times. Look at Axel with the ponytail in the braided ponytail. Oof. Good rebound by Braylon. Braylon. Tough take. Oh. Looking for the foul. He did a little, uh, what is that, an upward dog? A little yoga pose? <laughs> upward dog. No, no, because no, was, it wasn't the downward yeah, when he was, came it was through. Yeah, it was opposite. Oh. Another no, score no, by X. You know when you do your vinyasa? It's the upward, it's an upward dog. I know my yoga. <laughs> if there's anyone that shot can correct full my circle, circle, although they're know. not a sponsor. <laughs> oh, oh it's an another three-point shot. Up dog, oh my up dog. goodness. He's hot from the three-point range. Dom. Said he's the best player in the league right now, living up to it. That was a contested three, by the way. That's what he hits though. Yeah. He says that that makes him shoot better. He says when I play defense on him, he shoots better because he has to take more time oh. Oh. to concentrate. Big Mike shot there Mitchell. by Mike Mitchell. The hood superstar. If you're the Ghost Riders, why has JC not seen the court? That's yeah, my big question. There, man. It's my big question. John Kerry can make the difference, man. Make Juan no is mistake. deep breathing out there. <laughs> He looks like he's hurting. I think the shiesty mask, the shiesty mask, mask cut yeah. off some oxygen. It might have bit him in the ass, to be honest with you. Yeah, the shiesty ass. <laughs> Mike Mitchell makes a free throw. Big shot here. New player, Job. No, Job is a returning player, actually. He played oh, really? seasons three and four. Played for the Gators season three. Uh, and then he played for La Familia, made it to the championship in season four. What's he play like? Uh, he's a little shifty point guard. Season three, he was very... Oh, that's a big take oh, by Mike Mitchell. Man. The hood superstar. Sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. He's strong, man. He is. Uh, and no longer the oldest player in the league. Really? Shane Who's... is 41. Wow. Yes, Shane is the oldest player by far. Something happened to Juan. Uh, uh, I think it was a Charlie horse. Charlie horse? Yeah. Charlie Horse? I don't know what happened, but knee, you took a knee to the Complain thigh? about it a little bit more so we can give you the bitch of the day brought to you by Chris Galco. <laughs> he said you guys can have it. Yeah, I don't like that one. That's not bitch material. What Making sure it he looks like he's grabbing on? at the ankle. It looks like his shoe zipper are about to eat his ankles. I just noticed that. Very interesting shoes. Body the body. A league veteran. Good idea. Oh wow. I think that's Ghost Rider ball. It is. Wow, they good were defense. It looked like they were trying to attack. It Juan. was a good idea if he right. if he uh, passed it a little bit earlier. Oh, oh, oh wow. Juan was Same exact to, play. Yeah. Same exact play. He wanted to get him back. Those two old high school teammates, I believe, have uh, been friends for quite some time, maybe middle school, something like that. Yeah, it's, a, it's a rivalry, and Braylon got the best of him last season. We'll see what Juan can do this season. Good take by Braylon. Juan looking gingerly. Juan was a first round draft pick last season and first overall. Promise, first overall, yeah. And he and, and it looked promising for the Goblins last season. Started 4-0, oh, but then it started to decline. I Rapidly. remember me and you were talking about it, and you think it was because they weren't utilizing Juan to his full potential. Do you think they'll do that here with the Ghost Riders? Well, the, the difference with this team is Outside of Mike Mitchell, you have a lot of willing passers. Right. Um, so 1v1, although he's going to get his, he will move the ball. I think that it's a better situation for Juan because the pressure's not directly on him either. Last season, it was primarily on him to get those buckets. Oh, man. Oh, Dom. wow. Oh, my Dom. Dude, he, he's good. He's on another level. Man. He's a little bull. He's like an ox. I feel like him and Braylon know. They, they just have, like, that chemistry. It is that duo. And you well, can they played together on the Winter Park Storm for at least one season. Oh, so um, that chemistry so they do have is there. chemistry. Yeah. 
That's a great pass, great cut. And that's what they were missing with John oh, Terry. Oh, brick of the day brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Shout out Z Money. Although he's in Mexico as a captain <laughs> for his first week, not making a strong debut, his team still got the W. Oh, so yeah. good for them. Shout out the Gorillas. Shout out Zane. Go buy a house. Oh, yeah. Maybe he'll take you to Mexico. <laughs> Might have to buy another house there. Slowing it down. Yeah, buy another. Buy five. Buy five. And then go get you some life insurance. And then, <laughs> as a gift, get yourself some Ashes Bake Shop cookies. Hey. And on your way, if you get into a car accident, make sure to call yeah. Amat Law. What was that? What is that? The home, the home uh, gift? The home warming gift? Yeah, yeah, the house warming yeah. gift. Yeah. So that's Ashes Bake Shop well, cookies. Yeah, Ashes Bake Shop cookies. Perfect. And on your way in the U-Haul, you can listen to Chris Scalco on all streaming platforms. Hey. And then maybe to celebrate, you can go to a nice dinner at Francesco's Restaurante uh, and Pizzeria. You said it the and best. And as you're scrolling through your phone, you can go check out J&J &J Family <laughs> on all platforms. I Just think to I end hit the every day, sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> to end the day, you hit every sponsorship. Yeah. I think you kind of, you could do a full sponsor kind of day. <laughs> What's going on here? It looks like they bounced it off of Juan. Call it tech. Petty stuff, yeah. I want somebody to go to the penalty box. Joe I'm waiting for ball. it. Who's the first player you think goes to the penalty box? I said it was going to be Yusuf, but he didn't get there clearly. He didn't. He was close. Oh, splash. He got a warning on the tech. Yeah, Job likes those deep threes, especially from the top of the key. He likes that and the floater. That's his main game. Mm. To answer the question you asked earlier, that's mainly what he does. What? Ash says nobody goes to the penalty box in the first week. It's going to be a lot of warnings, uh, trying to ease our way into it. Uh, oh, actually, Dre. Dre went to the penalty box to end the game. I was about to say, That's yeah. true. He took his jersey off early yeah. out of frustration. So Dre was our first victim of the penalty box, but it wasn't really an impactful. Right. There was already five seconds left in the game. Yeah, we need something. I you want know, something a at a pivotal worthy. moment. Yes. Right. Which is interesting, man. That could change was the game. one of the first. I don't know. <laughs> Most of our refs are certified. As you see, they're all in our new Selling Nation ref apparel. Fire, by the way. Thank you. It's, it's definitely just better to have matching refs. Oh, yeah. Good take oh, by Job. Man. Yeah, just Good like job. you said. It's his game. Job's solid. Uh, two seasons ago, I believe he averaged, or three seasons ago, season three, he averaged about 13 points a game. So he was a solid yeah. piece on that Gator team, who was one of the worst in the league. But he's not the biggest man on the court, but he looks quick. Quick as he hell. He is. He's fast. He's shifty, and once he gets inside the paint, he does a very good job of finishing with that right hand. Good job at sharing the ball, too. Oh, oh. oh. He has Job yeah, open, but instead he... Yeah, he's Dom hit three already. He's not passing that. Should have, though, because Job was wide yeah, open. Well, you think that, but then he hears this, and he's going to say, I'm LeBron James. I can take those shots. And it's a double-edged you know sword because, I mean, he can hit three of those back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. And that's why you can't argue with him sometimes because it'll last three hours. And with that, we got a timeout read. Francisco's Restaurante Francesco's. and Pizzeria. Oh, Fran Francesco's. My bad. My bad. Francisco. Restaurante and <laughs> Pizzeria. Their boutique Italian scratch kitchen represents the best of the Mediterranean. Indulge in the best or er, in tapestry of rich and vibrant flavors straight from the heart of southern Italy. Their mission is simple. Carefully preparing and serving the most flavorful Italian dishes using only the freshest and local ingredients for an experience that will delight your senses. Go ahead. Stop by. Fill your stomachs. We're going tonight. Uh, the Reapers are winning. Uh, we're going tonight, so it should be a good time. I uh, got the captains pulling up. Josh, you're more than welcome to join us if you want to. It's actually in your neck of the woods. What time is it? Uh, uh, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? Yeah, if, you, if you, you and your wife want to pull up, you're more than welcome to join us. 7 o'clock. We got a big party. Celebrating the season six, I'm pretty sure. 100% and supporting our sponsors. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing here. Making the sponsorships worth it. Uh, we did hear, I heard from Rochelle at Amat Law that one of the players, uh, I don't know, family members or something like that, got into a car accident and called her. Oh, so wow. she actually got a case from it. That's very good. I know Ash has gotten a few clients from it. Uh, people buying our, or customers, I should say. Hopefully Angel gets a few clients. And hopefully somebody buys a damn house from Zane. <laughs> I don't know if anybody, I don't know if most of the people in this league can afford a house, but for those of you that have a consistent job, go buy yourself a house from Zane. He's going to hook you up. Oh, he can hook you up. Yeah, he's, I've been seeing, uh, you know, reasonable prices on homes on his uh, Instagram. That's some beautiful homes, so, too, at reasonable prices. He, it's all about location, location, yep. location, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, as yeah. they say. And he puts in a lot of work. He is willing to help you out. Braylon yep, shoots a three-point shot. Wow. Those look like Air Forces. 
Who? The, oh, Braylon? Yeah. Yeah. Those they are look, nice. They look chunky. He was wearing, I think he was wearing a different pair. Two for three. First one's worth two. Second one's worth one. He was wearing a different pair of shoes, and I think he changed them. Maybe because he wasn't hitting shots. He said, you know what? I'm going to go Air Force. That, that's how you know you're a ball. You bring two different pairs of shoes. Yeah, he's Ballins Picker. Pickens. Yeah. Terrible name. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're trying out here. Hey, it's the first week. I gotta get warm back up. We didn't have scrimmages this That's season. That's what I was saying with Steve. I'm like, oh man, I gotta warm myself back up. High paced games. Oh, especially the first one to start off with a bang. Oh, man, yeah, this yeah, has yeah. been rather lackluster comparatively. Yeah. So better point defensive. Game. Yeah, better defensive game for sure. I think worse offensively too. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Yeah, but I think just being realistic here, they're missing a lot of the shots yeah. that both the other teams are making. What oh, the hell right. was yeah, that? that? Yeah, good example. Of what yep. And that is but One Hop, defense. too many, brought to you by One Hop the Shop, the official home of the Selling Nation League merch, which we probably won't have any this season. But next season for season seven, I'm going to have some more time. I'm going to figure that out. We're going to get some work done here. Chili Chill with the Mohawk. Something back into the game. <laughs> chili Chill. You got to love Chili, man. Yeah. Selling Asian vet. Former uh, track record holder at CHS. Oh, wow. You know that? And Big one. Time. Wow. Big time shot. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the oh, my Dom effect right there. I think he's looking to be the player of the game brought to you by One Hot the Shop. He is not a second round pick. He just said it. He's chewing gum. He's pulling his pants up into his ass crack. I don't yeah. know what the hell's going on right now. Oh, yeah. He was He's telling excited. Me that. He was telling me that earlier. He's he like, feels I went, disrespected. I went late. Yeah, he went late. Yeah, I think it's because the, from the consensus of the captains, he went late because of his availability, not that's his ability. Was, and that's what I was mentioning to yes. him. I was like, to be honest, it's probably because you were injured. <laughs> well, he you was know, injured. First, yeah. Season five. Right. Season four, he was the healthiest he had been. Season three, he played one game and broke his hand because he punched a wall and he missed the rest of the season. And season two, he had knee injuries the whole time. So he's had one healthy season out of four. I understand the concern of the captains wanting their first round pick to be. Oh, oh wow. Mike Mitchell. And he oh, flips him off. Oh, that should be a T. Oh. Send him to the penalty box. <laughs> He said, I'm not the oldest man anymore. Oh, Axel. Axel, what you got? What you got, Ax? You know what? Mike Mitchell, bitch of the day, brought to you by Chris Scalco. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's another one. Wow. Foul on the three. Juan is oh, fouling a lot. And he's going for the bitch of the day, too. This yeah. is a tough race between Mike Mitchell and Juan. <laughs> Do we have any from the first game? Um, Dean. Dean, uh, yeah, Dean and Yusuf. Those Dean are going to be the Yusuf, likely yeah. culprits. What I would like to do is start miking up people that we think will be the bitch of the day so that each game we have a candidate. Let me know. I have Because this guy definitely could be bitch of the day, brought to you by Chris Gallagher. Let me know. I have lav mics. We can do like a mic'd up. That'd I be have dope. some too, but we can, we can mic up as many <laughs> players as we need to. That'd be crazy. So we can That'd get some bitch of the days. Mic up the coaches. Yeah, you're late, Nick. You're supposed to ref. That's minus one point. That's minus one. I told you I'm going to go warm in the next game. No, you're not. Next game we got to warm up. I don't even, I'm warm. You're I not play, warm. I play soccer, but you legs are going already. You played but. soccer. That's why you're late. No, no, no. Minus no, no, one. No, no. Mike Mitchell from deep again. That's an air ball. That's a brick of the day brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Minus one. It doesn't matter. That still would put you at zero. Because you got <laughs> minus one because you were scheduled and didn't help. And then you helped, so then you're at zero. I, I don't know how that works. I explained it. <laughs> and posted it. And I posted it. Thank you. Josh isn't even playing and he knows the rules. You want the rule book? I watch, I watch. At the end of the league, when you see it, I'm going to have the highest bonus. No, you know you're not. I wrote back to back to back. It's going to be Dre or Ziggy Zay. And with that, we'll go get a word <laughs> from our sponsors. <laughs> Reapers have a star-studded wing duo. You have Dom and Braylon, two people who could easily win league MVP in a league like this. But also, you have Chili, and you have amazing role players in Kyson, Fadi, Axel, Job, Ethan. You have an extremely deep team, and uh, they're looking really good right now. Ghost Riders haven't tuned it in yet. They're oh, god damn it. Who did that? It looks like everything. All right, I'll fix it. We'll be back, Fonzo. 
And we're back. The Reaper, sponsored by Francesco's Restaurante and Pizzeria, versus the Ghost Rider, sponsored by One Hop to Shop. Honestly, it's now a blowout, 45 to 27. Reapers are up. It's interesting because I picked Ghost Riders to win this, and you look at roster against roster, I would take Ghost Riders every single time. Uh, but you can't account for the variables of them missing shots and Dom being Dom. You know, it's, it's hard when they have no answer for Dom and then they're not hitting their shots on their end of the... Like, 27 points is... That's nothing. You can't win a game like that. Nope. We'll see, though. This is a team that can get streaky, that can get hot. Between X, 1v1, and 1, they could start hitting some threes. They just need to lock in defensively now. If you're going to allow 90 points, you can't score 54. That's just simple math. That's true. We'll see. We'll see what happens here in the second half. A big adjustment needed by Thank the you, Ghost Nacho. Riders. Uh, and the time is on. Great job overall. Production-wise, good day. Everybody's doing a very good job. Oh, yeah. Serious about it. Let's go, Ghost. Hit another one. Ghost. Oh, that's a good shot, though. Can't oh, hit. grab oh, it, Ziggy Zay. If you get smacky, you can grab it, right? Yeah. You see. <laughs> this guy said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Depending on who you ask. <laughs> you got Chaxel 2.0 here with Chili and Axel this time instead of Chan and Axel. And this is arguably the best rebounding duo we'll probably ever see in the league. Actually, no. You had Chili and Dante season one, which is a phenomenal oh. rebounding duo. But Chaxel 2.0 is phenomenal. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Nice little duo. I didn't know Braylon was Italian. You saw that? <laughs> yeah, he said. Hey, let's go. I'm a Braylon Pickens. <laughs> I hope we got that on camera or else I just sound like an idiot for nothing. <laughs> 1v1 Sauce. God. Yeah, it's just, they're settling. I feel like the Reapers are giving them the jump shots. Oh, yeah, Sauce oh, yeah. just hustling to the ball. Use that cornerback speed. Kai can just it. shoot it. Oh, willingly oh. passing. Even with the was, mess up. Even with the mess up. That was interesting. I don't know what happened there. All right. Not supposed to happen like that. Okay. We got ball in. It's okay. 20 point lead by the Reapers. Juan. Yeah, see, this is not what's going to do it, though. You can't just keep settling for jump shots when you guys aren't hitting the jump you, shots. Yeah, you guys got to start playmaking. Look for easy shots. And then uh, there's Kai for mid range. Can't hit. It's very clear that Ghost Riders have zero chemistry right now going into it. We're just gonna, you're gonna chuck a three. You're yep. gonna chuck a three. Yep, they need it at this point though. Oh, yeah, there it listen, is. good. Uh, we love Ziggy Zay. It's a big hit. But we need a little bit more out of that team though than let's take a three. Hope that we can get the rebound if we miss. Start cutting, start getting those heads moving. Yeah, move off ball. Yep. You're allowing the Reapers to sit underneath the paint, and the only way that they're getting a rebound is if it goes long. That was disgusting by Bray. That's a foul. Oh, wow. Good take. He's shooting. Two for one. What do you think of the new free throw rule? I think it's interesting. Uh, Yusuf didn't even know he scored 30 points because of it. He was like, wow, oh, so, you know, one counts for two the first time? And I thought I G League does it. It keeps the pace of the game. That's yeah, the biggest exactly. thing for us now. Because guys yeah. complain about playing time. So there, there's a couple of reasons why I wanted to speed it up. Guys complain about their playing time. I feel like because of all the breaks that we had throughout the game, it made it so that guys weren't as tired. Oh, Ziggy right. Zay, you got to hit that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so I figured if we keep pace of play as high as possible, A, we can optimize the running clock, and B, guys will get more tired so then other guys would be able to sub in and then we can get more minutes out of it. I actually like that idea. Trying to evolve the league one step at a time. Dom finally passes. One oh, more pass. Uh, Off the heezy. Out gotta, of bounds. As a football player, you got to catch that one. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that coming. Good <laughs> idea, though. It was a good idea. Yep. Yep. Take care, Yusuf. Hey, love you guys. Whoa, Yusuf yeah. loves us all. Yep. Habibi. <laughs> Ziggy Zay grabs his own board, finds Ghost as captain. Captain, my captain. He gets fouled. Oh, takes and it in. one. And Ghost. Let's go, Ghost. Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. They needed that one. Big take. They need a huge momentum uh, shift. That's what they need right now. The uh, La Familia warm-ups look like old Italian men. <laughs> That's exactly the, those track suits are what they old do. Italian guys yeah, wear. Yeah, they, of course, right. Tone would get that for him. <laughs> the old Puerto Rican. That's so oh, funny. Chief got them for everybody. Shout uh -oh, out, Chief. Uh -oh. We get the ball back. It looks like. What is going on? They call a reach or what? 
Penalty box. Penalty <laughs> box. <laughs> you really want oh, to I just see. want to see it happen. Can you imagine one of the Reapers' key players going to the penalty box, allowing you know the Ghost Riders to come back? That would be interesting. What I want to see is a double tech, and then we get a four on four. Oh, wow. That would be interesting. It just opens the court then. Yeah, it does. Makes things very – and especially – now, you're almost – I don't want to give away strategy here, but a strategy could be to have your worst player get into it with their best player, mm. get the double tech, big putback. And now yeah. you're playing four on four without their best player and without your worst player. It seems like it'd be difficult to make happen, but oh, oh wow, good wow. hustle! Wow. Oh, Alex. Kaiser. Alex. 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 Trying to get the corner. Yes. Can you tell? Can you tell Alex to pay attention? Yes. We'll grab it in a minute. All right. We need a megaphone. <laughs> yeah. Sitting over here screaming. What is going on? I have no idea. I'm lost right now. <laughs> How you doing, Nate? My oh, man, shout out the sponsor is in the building. Elevated Insurance Angel. Mr. Parlay. Mm. I don't know what that means, but that's his jersey name. So, <laughs> Ghost misses it. Oh, X. X. Like I said, one of the best offensive boards. Man, he's such a good key player, man. Ziggy Zay's having a conversation on the sideline. Braylon's goes up tough. with it. Oh, wow. He shot that like a windmill dunk as a jump <laughs> shot. Very interesting. Will be one guy looking to make something happen here. Oh, yeah. Good pass up top. Ziggy Zay Ziggy. hits another one. It's a good Get shot. It. Oh, good rebound by 1v1 God. He ain't Juan passing. Taking it in on the smaller guy. I don't know what happened Nothing there. there. Good pass over to Bray. Spraying Bray. And even though Chris was a smaller man in that situation, he still put his body on the line to make sure he, he didn't make that. He loves doing that. Oh. Yeah, that's Dom's signature move. Doesn't always work. He likes that in the slip and slide. <laughs> Reaper's ball. Reaper reap. All right, 15 point game. They, they pulled it within a little bit more. They can get it within 10. Good defense, good hustle all around. What the oh, hell Kai is going, going on? going up for it. Wow, this is some bad basketball being played here on game two. But that's okay. Juan's <laughs> going to pull. Nope, he could have just hit Ziggy in the corner. No, instead he oh, finds Ghost. Ghost. Big shot oh. off right. Yep. Axe, what do we say? Looking to make something happen here. Nice. Uh, pull. Th that's a great pass by Joel. Yeah. Good shot. Good hustle again. Told you that's what he does. Oh, Good man. move. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Shout out, X. Great guy, and his parents are phenomenal. Come out here every week and support him. So shout out. Shout out his parents. Super important, the support of your family. Good defense by Joel. Oh, wow. Great defense by Joel. Chili. Chili. Oh, Chili hits the layup. Big day for Chili Chill. That's what he's good for right there is to clean up stuff like that. Get the rebound, put it up. It's almost a fictional tale. It's kind of like Horton hears a who, Chili hits a layup. <laughs> Things you don't normally see. <laughs> Horton hears a who. Oh, oh, he gets fouled. Ziggy's eight to the line, shooting one for two. They got to get to the line a little bit quicker here. Oh, yeah. Why is John Carey not coming in the game? I still him don't in understand the new, it. In one of their new players too. I think I don't Dylan. think I've seen they, him yet. Yeah, he was on there. He plays good defense. He's a hustle guy. Mm. I would like to see, honestly, John Carey and X in the game at the same time because right. their rebound would be very strong. We'll see. We'll see what Man, Ghost if, ends if, up doing. If Dylan is a defensive player, I'd bring him in right now. Cause some turnovers. Block some shots. Right? Something's gonna them. happen. Actually, yeah. though, they've held them to eight points in the second half. Yeah, so, so that's good enough, yeah. 100%. Fine, Bray. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Joe, great little pump. That was great hustle. Oh, wow. Braylon can't finish. Gets the rebound, turns around, still can't get it. Brick of the day, there brought you go, to you by Darius. Zane, the realtor. Oh, oh, wow. oh, Darius. Why did he try to split? I think he should just pass it off. 100%. One more. 
You have Ethan wide open. Ethan Parks, good from the three-point line. Good Can't pass. find him, but cuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Shout the IQ. Out Ethan. Great play, Ethan. The IQ of Ethan. Ethan, another group of parents that always come out. You got to love Ethan. I think he's overlooked. He really is. A hundred percent. He's a solid player. He's a solid team player, too. Great take by Joel. Good take. Oh, wow. He gets a foul. And one. And one. He called the foul. He did not blow the whistle hard enough. Yep. I heard the whistle bounce. Yes, but barely. Even barely. though we have headphones on, we still heard it. I don't know what's right, going on. I don't know. Probably slipped out of his mouth. Or... He's shooting. He called a foul. Why is this so confusing? He's shooting a free throw. <laughs> Reaper's confused. What's going on? Yep. We don't need all these people. and He's probably going to hit the shot. What the hell is going on? The whole point of this was to alleviate time. I didn't know that guys didn't know how to shoot a free throw at all. I guess we should have taken out free throws entirely. That was like 40 seconds ran off. That was I, a crazy I, you know yeah, what? segment right there. It is week one. We'll attribute it to that. Yep. Chili. Former teammates, oh. Chili Chill and Job both played on that Gators team season three. Oh, wow. One of the worst teams in league history. Was it real? Oh, is that the one that they didn't get a win? They didn't have. No, they did. But um, thank you for saving the cameras. Um, they didn't have a point guard. Gator, Gator drafted that team in order to be more of a star because the season before he won a championship, but he wasn't the star player. I see. So, oh, my God. What good the hell defense. is going on? Good idea. Oh, oh good pass. Man. That is your assist of the day. Brought to you by Elevated Insurance. Go get you some life insurance. Go take care of yourself. That was a phenomenal play right there. I don't know what's good. AJ just, what's going on? They brought the deficit down to 12. I don't know what's going on. And there's still a lot of time in the game, too. Yeah, plenty of time. They're locking in defensively, which is what you would expect from this team. Right. The thing now is, what do you get from Bray and Dom? Great defense by Juan up top here. Love to see this. Sliding the feet, he gets fouled. Yep, that's clearly a foul. Nope. I feel like once, once Juan commits to a foul, he decides to make it way more aggressive. A little bit more physical, yep. You, you might as well. If you're going to get the foul call, yeah, make might as well make it a foul. Get him tired, yeah. First one's good by Braylon. Just have somebody move it. Ziggy left wide open for a mid-range shot. He couldn't hit. I feel like he knew it was off. We got a jump ball. Wow, that was actually pretty quick how he jumped on there. It's not a jump ball. It'll be Reapers. What is going on? Oh, wow. And Ziggy just smacked the ball away from Juan. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. I think the Ghost Riders are trying to amp up the defense. That's what it is. They're trying to turn it up, staying in their face, swatting at whatever's being passed. Well, this season being shorter, although everybody makes it to the playoffs, every game matters more. Right. Because you only have seven games. You get into that 0-5 hole like the Dogs did last season, and you're in some real trouble. Right. Mike's not passing, even though he had Juan wide open. He's going to oh. take it to the hole. I don't think Mike has missed today. I don't think he I has. think he's four for four. I think he has nine points, four for four. Good hustle by Darius. Gibby. Still, <laughs> Gibby, no, still no JC. Why? And he requested this trade. I wonder if there's an underlying issue. There. Oh, yeah, big hit. Maybe JC's oh, not healthy. Hit. It could be a health yeah, thing. Yeah, it might be an underlining issue that we don't know of. Oh, 1v1 got takes oh, it in and gets one. it. That's wow. and one. Finish, sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ashes Bakeshoff. Left me kind of speechless right there. Wow. That was great. Great take by Joel. They're starting to sub. turn it up now. Down 10, seven minutes left. That's what you said. If they bring it within 10, anything can happen here. We got Dylan the Stash in the game. John, John Carey, Carey finally. in the game. I think he should have been in about five minutes ago. But you know what? Can't argue with it. They're getting results. Off Couldn't the mark. bring it down to single digits. Axel gets Bray. And this is it. Oh, good contest at the paint by Dylan. You got to love the hustle. 
He went straight up. You hey. know, he, I, I respect it. Make him earn it, right? Good hustle by Dylan. Hey, nothing easy. Nothing easy. I like that. I would have done the same exact thing, except for I probably wouldn't have jumped as high. He did go straight up, but the momentum of Braylon just... He takes a step out, yeah. and he just stands still. He's going to get that charge. We're running clock. This clock is just burning. Yeah, I think it's they're trying to make sure the floor is dry there. Hey, you know what? But I, I say let him shoot the free throws first and yep. then wipe the floor after. Yeah. You know? Well, it's free throw. Exactly. Oh, yeah, free throw. Not as rules. much time. That's off the mark. Oh, wow. That's big. That is. Still a 10-point game. Mike Mitchell. Oh, yeah, that's a hood superstar right there. Five for five, baby. Five for five. Hell, yeah. Can I get a hell, yeah? Down by seven now. Wow. Made it a game. Axel can't uh -oh. hit. That's breaking the, the day. day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Oh, that was oh. beautiful. And Ethan, big hit. Big hit. He says, come on, bro. Come on. Pushes the lead back up to 10. 522 left. Still uh, a lot of time. You had Mike Mitchell. Oh. He hasn't missed all game. Give him the ball. Five for five. Wow, he could have missed me. Just might forget it. But you know what? He's five for five in my mind. I think he did miss one. Nah, we're going to forget about it. Yeah, we're going to forget about it. Five for five. That Until we look at the stats. Three nullifies it, yeah. Mike is confused as to why he does not have the ball. And you know what? This time I agree. Juan. That's it. That's beautiful. He noticed he was the bigger man in the yeah, paint. Yeah, you kind of have to take that. He's one of the biggest on the court. And that's too easy. Oh, oh wow. Good hustle. Oh, 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 wow. oh, oh what, happened? what happened? What happened? What happened? It was a bad landing. I think he landed wrong on his uh, ankle. Oh, yeah. Shit. All right, he's walking. Oh, he's man. walking to, his, to the bench. Okay, that's he, a good he, sign. He's as tough as they come, man. That's a good sign, though. He's gonna take a break. I think he's gonna. I think he's yeah. gonna be okay. I if think I'm he's gonna Chris, be okay. I, I take him out. And let him oh, sit yeah, down 100%. for a second. There's more important things. He's got a game after this for the FBA, looking to complete their undefeated season. Oh, wow. But I think he's okay. I think. I hope he's okay. And then to add insult to injury. I think it's a cramp. To be honest, he's grabbing the back half. I hope so. I hope it's a cramp. Somebody's coming over to check on him. I, I love to see that when random bystanders yeah. hop in there. Uh, clock does not stop. I don't know why we're stopping clock. Obviously, the Ghost Riders aren't going to say anything about it. They need all the time that they could get. Clock runs. Slowly coming back. Clock does not stop. My, hey, the thank Hood you. Superstar making it happen here for the Ghost Riders late in the game. I can't hear you at all. But they might have to go. We're figuring go to him one. here. He was on the magicians. He was on the magicians. Ball is in. Mike Mitchell was a part Dre. of a game winner back in last season, looking to do the same Dre, here in game one. Look at the clock. Oh, Big X shot. making a difference. We have a six-point game now. I think out X of nowhere. And, I think X and Mike Mitchell are going to be the big difference makers here in the game if it gets uh, closer. I like this lineup here for the Ghost Riders right now. Only down by six. That's, I told you, he loves oh, that floater. Oh, good hustle by Fadi. Oh, Over to Job. Job, he's so good with that hesitation. Yep, he gets fouled. That small little hesitation, dude, he's really good. He's just quick, man. He probably weighs 120 pounds. <laughs> and, yeah, he can take he, off in the oh, split it's second. Ridiculous. Yeah. It is ridiculous. What is going on? We got a sub. Taking Ethan out, putting Kai in. He's really good at shooting corner threes. Oh, Don's going to use his body, create separation, and then take the jump shot. Oh, he had him. He oh, had that's him. Good. That's a good shot. Oh. Off the mark. Good hustle. Oh, no. Too much good hustle. Axel with the def uh, offensive what rebound. What happened there? Oh, okay. Looked like he picked it up. Fadi. The body. Oh, yeah. Good oh. take, Fadi. Good hustle all around. Watch your back, JC. Oh, that wow. was such a bad turnover. Boom. He should have given it to Mike Mitchell coming down the sideline. Dom's line. not passing. He's picking up Gets the bailed out by the foul. From what I've seen from the Reapers, they're a very physical team. They, I mean, but that's what Sauce normally drafts. Uh, it's great hustle guys, guys Being that a play. Guy, yeah. right, and yeah. this is this is the best offensive team with Bray and Dom. The rest of the guys are more glue guys. They'll hit their open shots, but yeah. they'll play unselfish basketball, which is what you kind of need when you have two superstars like that. Like I said to wow. Dom when I was talking to him, I was like, it's crazy how they... Joel, you need that board. 
I said, it's crazy how they let you slip through the cracks and get drafted with Braylon. He was like, I know, it's insane. Yeah, but every team has a dynamic duo. Right. And I mean, you really look one. at it. It is. It is. Wow. Juan takes a step back three. Contested. Hits it. Big time five-point game here now. Two hasn't, minutes left. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been his game all game, but he's you know, clutch but he, moments. Yeah, he's one of those guys that can hit a jump shot at any point. Right. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. What went on there? I, I'll tell you what went on. A slip and fall brought to you by Mott Law. You know, shout out you. Oh, and it was. It was a turnover. Slip and fall. You get into a car accident. Make sure you're calling Rochelle. She is the gal for you. Up Man. to Juan. He, Juan. he hit one. He shoots another. Short. Good hustle by Ziggy Zay. Back up to Juan. You got Ziggy. Looking Good for pass. John Kerry was wide open in the corner. Ziggy. Short, short. Oh, brick of the day. Good hustle. Good save. Good hustle by Kyson. Oh, jump ball. We got ball. a jump ball. This Final I, two I, minutes, minute 37. The last game was high scoring. This game has been a gritty one. It That's has. That's what it's been. It has. Two gritty teams. Showing you the two spectrums of what Southern Nation can offer you. Now you're watching this, and it's been two close games now at this point because they brought it back in. Do you think that these teams fall to the top of the back, the pack? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wow, that's a man. brick of the day brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Where do you think they fit as far as the rest of the league would go? Man, I feel like it's too early to tell, but by the Reapers, man, I feel like they'll be up there just by the dynamic duo. I mean, they make it, look, they make it tough for really good players to score. I mean, yeah. look at that. Their defense. Like you said, on paper, the Ghost Riders are a better team, but, you know, the, the Reapers are making it difficult just by the defense itself. But what did we see last game, too? Mambas had the lead most of the second half, and then oh, yeah. Gorillas in the last few minutes turned it around, and we're kind of seeing the same, the same thing. thing happen here where the Ghost Riders are turning it around, and now it's a three-point game. Come back right now from Ghost Riders. They started hitting their shots. They started playing much better defense. Their guys are starting to heat up. Three-point game, one minute, 16 seconds left, and you're standing right now. Fonzo, show them. What are you standing in? Four-point bing-bong zone. That means if a player takes a three-point shot from here, it's worth four. four. That means no lead is insurmountable anymore. Two possessions, that's eight points. That's fucking it. If I were the Ghost Riders, I'd be looking there and be like, let's put this one away. All right, let's see how it ends. Love you. Bye. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it, I think, Mike Mitchell for the game winner. We'll call it. He's not even on the court. Oh, he's not. I don't agree with this. I think that. <laughs> I think you should put your best score out there. I mean, A, he's been hot this game. B, he can rebound. C, he's Mr. Clutch. He hits big shots. It, it, it's proven. You know, as much of a psycho as he is on and the court. And he plays solid defense. Sometimes. 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 Yeah, sometimes he could be a Luka Doncic. It's, but. The thing is, he's 39. So you have to put into that. You have to put into account the fact that he is older. Right. But so far playing good defense. He's played solid. This game. Yeah. This game. So now we have a one-on-one. On one and one. It's a true one-and-one. One. Final two minutes here. Big shot here for Bray. Off the uh, it on. Oh, it's one-and-one. One. It's one-and-one. One. It's two shots. How do we not understand how basketball works, guys? Good job on the ish for to remind him, man. Good job on Parker. Good. I don't know who, who made it happen. I, too, I, yeah. I can't tell what's going on with these headphones on. <laughs> Important shot here. Bray looking to make this a five-point game, and he does. All right, Joel, what do you have for us? Yeah, I think they're looking to score here quick. Oh, yeah, good shot. Oh, oh yeah. Nice little floater. Nice take. JC should have got in the game more frequently, if I'm being honest with you. No, double team him. Uh, the crowd, force him inside. Yeah, the crowd Good wants pass. to see a comeback. Oh! Wow. wow. That's the assist of the day brought to it by Elevated Insurance. Ziggy, go. Go, cut. I think he wasted time up there trying to look for. Yeah, it was a good finish. But good finish, no, but Ziggy. Three point game, yeah. I, Ziggy had to move. 100%. That's a foul and a half. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. What do they call it? Wow. How? How they called it a not, timeout? Yeah, he saw us call a timeout, but how is it not a foul first on Joel? He grabbed his whole entire side of his body, and then he smacked him across the arm, and then he dove on top of him. Three <laughs> fouls back to back to back and no foul call. When there's 40 seconds left in the game, down by three, I feel like things can get skewed a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that's when the ref has to take control. I agree. It's their job. What's the other time? Oh, J&J &J family. Mm -hmm. 
So our favorite social media couple, Josue, Melissa, and their three adorable children showcase their everyday life in comedic and relatable video videos. So make sure to follow them and subscribe on all platforms at J and J Family. Underscore. Underscore. All right. Let's see who's going under score here <laughs> and lose this game. It's 68 to 65. I'm telling you, he's getting better at it. I'm telling you. <laughs> By you next know. week, he's going to have a lot of them. He's got a whole book of them. I'll figure it out. No worry. It's all in the in the noggin. Oh, you're right. I need the mohawk. I think that's what would release it. Uh -oh. That's a foul. Uh -oh. That's, uh -oh. a foul. Uh -oh. that's a foul. That's a foul. Yep. And they're in the one and one. Joel, <laughs> what, how are you doing this? It's very clearly a foul. Puts his hands up as if he didn't do it. <laughs> Where's Dean when you need him? Put the head forward. I think Dean would be a great football official at the end zone. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> it. He's got one job. Touchdown. He's just the end zone. He can just be a pylon. Oh. <laughs> That's his job. He just sits there. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Don makes one. We still don't understand one and one. All right. <laughs> He's just ready to get back, I feel. He just wants to try to get this game a little bit closer. I don't know, though. It's a four-point game still. That is one bing bong. Oh, good steal by Ziggy Zay. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing nope. bong. They're playing it safe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Asking for an and one. They're not going to get it. Braylon looking to run down the clock. Fouls him. What is going on? Yeah, but why were they all cheering on the Reapers bench? I think because they got the foul. <laughs> it's a two-point game. Why would you cheer this early? Then go that, tell them. That's, that's why you were supposed to ref. Yeah. Go tell them. What the hell? He's going to complain? Yeah, you're complaining. I'm in the booth. I scheduled him to ref for the reason. <laughs> Shout out Nick with the backpack, though. You got to love Nick. He needs a loaf of bread. You, once you see that... <laughs> so on every other Sunday, I believe, yeah. they put out food in the in the lobby yeah. uh, for like the community and whatnot. So we're we're able to take it as well. Yeah. And they have loaves of bread. And Nick is notorious for walking around with a big loaf of bread oh. and just eating it off the. Oh. oh. Mr. Mr. Clutch. Clutch. He needs to wipe his is hands. Mr. Unlucky now. Wow. This could be the end. That is the end. Yeah. Well. Dom, you technically are a second round pick because you were picked in the second round. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> I'm talking literally, you were picked in the second round, Dom. Well, my past resume says I'm a first round pick. How about that? Your past I'm resume saying. says that you're injured a lot. Well, You've missed I'm half of the games. Right now and I haven't been injured since last year, so I don't count. <laughs> That's not last year. We played three months ago, Dom. He's delusional. <laughs> If we're going like most delusional, he's definitely the first round pick. No, act, Yusuf's number one overall. Dom might be number two, but he's up there with Uno. That's our top three. If we're going delusion. The all delusion team. Oh, yeah, you got a hit. Oh, oh he blocks what a it. Great defensive play by Kyson. What are we doing, guys? There's a bing bong zone available. Yeah. I don't think they're going to use it. Brandon Tyson goes jumps in. That's with him. Nail, that's the nail in the coffin. Blow the whistle! Blow the whistle! Oh! Oh, oh brick of the brick day of the brought to you by Zane the Realtor. <laughs> and that's the game. That is, yep, it is. The Reapers will get their first win against the Ghost Riders. Game two is a wrap. Stick around for game three for more crazy Sony Nation League games. Let's go!